We're gonna go to Florida tomorrow. These are like the most intense days for me. My brain just doesn't work when there's so much going on. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> little life update for you guys. We are moving on Sunday and today is Friday. Honestly, all I can really say is welcome to my life. I don't say any of this to be like, wah, woe is me, but really just to bring you guys into a little snippet of what our life looks like. We decided we were gonna move there early yesterday. So today we're packing for spring training, which is in Florida, and then for the full season, which is somewhere on the East Coast, normally pretty chilly. So I'm packing summer clothes, winter clothes for the kids and myself, Tate will pack his own stuff. Uh, we gotta pack kitchen supplies, food, shower, towels, bedding, pillows, pretty much everything. And we've gotta fit it all into two midsize SUVs. Plus baseball bats, plus golf clubs, plus porter crib, plus air purifier. Totally doable, but man. These are like the most intense days for me. But I'm just gonna take you guys with me, show you what I'm doing because we can't fit a lot of stuff into our cars and we've got to get both of them on the East Coast somehow starting in May, so. Sometimes my brain just doesn't work when there's so much going on. But right now, none of the kitchen stuff can get packed because we need to use it for dinner tonight. And the house is a mess because I'm just going through everything and picking what we need to bring and organizing things so that when we come home, whenever that is, it's not just a total and complete wreck. Like, do I bring my kitchen trash can? I don't know. I don't even know if we have room. Those are the things that I'm like, I don't want to have to buy all that stuff. I'll figure it out. That's, that's our saying. We'll figure it out. The tricky part about this is like, we have a fridge full of food. I want to bring a lot of it. Uh, so we'll do what we can. Pack a cooler if there's room. Meh. Is this something after there's nothing to say? We're just moving in circles, but we're losing our shape. Tomorrow. Is that exciting? Yeah. Not right now. We're gonna go eat pizza. Yeah, Riker? No. No. I can't even say anything, so you know. Okay, bye. Ah, uh, our sweet children. They were totally feeling it. They we're feeling the goodbyes, they're packing up the transition, and they just don't know how to process that, so that's how it came out. Thankfully, Tate came home and was able to help us pack the cars before we went out to dinner with our friends to say goodbye. We did it, we're fine, we're here. since 3 30 we got in the car around like 4 20 on the road again we're stopping in oxford to see my sister and her babies in about an hour so our kids will be able to get up we've been doing pretty good i don't have much else to say i've been in a car for four hours so i'm just gonna keep eating my carrots Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Was it sketchy inside? Yeah. Uh... Love it. The audio here was atrocious because it was so windy. So here is the video of us just stretching our legs, getting some grounding in, baby G, good stuff right there. And now I am telling you that we have seven hours left. It's gonna be interesting because the kids already see Nancy, but we're gonna keep on going. Let's play What's in My Cooler. All right, we've got some carrots over here. We've got this cashew forager drink. 
And then we also have a dairy version from Good Culture. I really like Good Culture stuff. Once Upon a Farm packets. These are so yummy. Even I eat these. Some lemons. I don't know. Cod liver oil. Just in case anyone needs some fish oil. And then lots of turkey for the youngins and for me. We've got some cucumbers. My favorite plantain chips cooked in coconut oil. These things are amazing. day we went to the beach went to the pool took naps like can you get a more ideal day down here then it rained so it's just lovely right now we're gonna wake up at 4 a.m again tomorrow so hopefully we can get to bed early and hopefully they sleep we've got eight hours in the car tomorrow and then we make it to our destination so boys are doing good we're holding in there and uh almost we're over halfway there so that's that's hopeful that's nice <laughs> since we've actually been here but this is the first time I have energy to turn on my camera I feel like the packing process the driving process wore me out I felt it any energy that I had I was giving to my children because Tate was gone doing the things that he needs to do and I am holding the fort down so to say and we're currently in an Airbnb for a week until we move into the place where we're gonna be living for the next two months I'm just kind of like hanging on by the seat of my pants in this Airbnb right now and all is good it's sunny it's warm we're so happy to be here we love it here in Florida I asked Tate if he could take me to the beach tonight because it's my favorite place in the world and we're gonna keep on going because that's what we do so I'll see you guys in my next video Now that I'm looking back 